in the last video which was the first part of a character controller uh, series so in that part uh, we got stuck because we couldn't use is grounded and we couldn't apply jump to our character so in this video we'll make our own is grounded function or is grounded boolean let's say so first i'll declare a boolean i'll name it is grounded and inside uh, for is grounded i'll add a on controller collider hit so basically on colli controller collider is hit is called uh, when the controller hits a collider while performing a move so what this does so inside we can check if our hit if like our character has hit with the ground and the is grounded is false in that case we'll make is ground true now as we are comparing tag uh, so i went ahead and made a new tag named ground you can go here and add a tag yourself so we can check for a check for our ground uh, check for our ground by comparing tag you can do the, do the same for the for a terrain if you have a terrain in your scene let's also name this to player instead of capsule just to make it more clear all right now over here we already know that is grounded is going to be true if our controller has collided with the ground and uh, so we can apply gravity on the if uh, we are not grounded let's say so if if you're not is grounded in that case we'll be applying gravity to our controller now we can add jump for that we'll take input input dot get key down and in our case key is going to be key code dot space that's where we want our player to jump let's also add some comments to make it more clear so it's it becomes a little bit more understandable over here we are doing movement and here we are applying gravity all right now to handle jump we'll make a new boolean we'll call it is jumping and for is jumping we'll make it true when the when our player will press the space key we'll tell that we are jumping right now so when we are jumping i have added this in else if statement of our when we are applying gravity the else if statement of gravity basically and that if we are jumping i am making is grounded equals to false because we won't be touching ground like if we are jumping right now and we will make velocity dot y equals to zero and you can play around with this value you can make another serialized field you can call it jump power and you can play around with this value and see what fits but right now i'm just gonna simply move our player in y axis for showing jump but if i'm gonna do it right now it's gonna keep jumping we are not making it like we are not making is jumping equals to false so if it's if it's not grounded if it's grounded is gonna be false our gravity is gonna be getting applied so inside here itself we can say if our player is jumping in that case we can make is jumping equals to false so now let me just save the code and let me show you That our character is able to move and in fact it's able to jump only once which is good if i'm gonna not press the space key you can see i can still move around and then make a float value and a serialized float value just like our walking speed let me just copy this and paste it here so the same way i'm gonna make and name it jump power and instead of 5f that i've given here i'll call it jump power so right now its value is 2f okay now okay that's a really short jump because the value is 2f right now but i can play around with this value let's try something around okay that 3.2 looks like a good value 
like a good jump value or jump power you can say so you can do the same thing 